Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Waterloo Math and Science Contest. This is a grade 12 physics or Isaac Newton contest question, and in it we have Superman, who drops a hammer from a tower on planet X, where the gravitational field strength is 6 meters per second squared. He hears two distinct sounds. One is through the metal, 7.5 seconds after dropping the hammer, and one is through the atmosphere, 1.5 seconds after hearing the first sound. Now we know that the speed of sound through the atmosphere is 80 meters per second. The question asks, what is the speed of sound through the metal? Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so first thing we need to do is figure out the height of this tower. So the height of the tower, let's call h, and we can figure out what h is using one of our kinematics equations for uniform acceleration because we dropped the hammer. And so it's going to fall to the ground. It will have an initial velocity of zero. So this term is going to be zero since it's being dropped. And then we have one half a times delta t squared. So our height, is then going to be equal to 1 half a, where a is 6, that's, so that's just going to be 3, times time squared. So let's rearrange this to solve for the time it takes for the hammer to fall. So we can do h divided by 3, and then take the square root of that. Now, let's focus on the first sound to the metal. It takes a total of 7.5 seconds after dropping it to hear that sound. So during that 7.5 seconds, first, we have the time it takes for the hammer to fall. So we have this square root of h over 3. And then we also have the time it takes for the sound to travel through the metal, a distance of h and a speed of v. It's called that v, the speed through the metal. And this equation for time is just our distance over speed. Let's call this equation 1. Now, what about the amount of time it took for sound to travel through the atmosphere? So what we can do is look at the time it took for the hammer to drop and until we hear the sound through the metal, plus another one and a half seconds until we hear the sound through the atmosphere. Now this is going to be equal to time it takes for the hammer to fall, which we know is the square root of h over 3, plus the time it takes for the sound to travel through the air. So it has to travel a distance h, the height of the tower, divided by a speed, which we know is 80 meters per second. Now if we rearrange this, 7.5 plus 1.5 is 9. So I'm going to bring that to the other side of the equation. And what we have is the square root of h. And I'm going to write it like this over the square root of 3. That's just this term here. Plus h over 80 minus 9 equals 0. Can you see that this is a quadratic equation? If not, let's do this. Let's let the square root of h be equal to x. So what do we have here? Let's start with this middle term. Here we have h. So that would be equal to x squared. So we'd have 1 over 80 x squared. Plus, we have this term. So the square root of h is x. So we have 1 over root 3 times x. And then our last term, minus 9. So there's a quadratic equation. We can plug that into our quadratic formula. So plugging that into our quadratic formula, we get x equals 2 minus 1 over root 3. So that's minus our b term. Then we have plus or minus, but we're going to ignore the negative because we know um, h is going to be positive. The height of the tower is going to be positive. So let's just do the positive term. The square root, here we have 1 third minus 4a, which is 1 over 80 times c, which is negative 9. All divided by 2a, 
which is 2 times 1 over 80. And if we put that into our calculators, we get 12.31. That is x, which is also the square root of h. So if we square both sides, we can get h to be equal to 151.5 meters. So now that I know the height of the tower, I can go back to our first equation, substituting the height of the tower, and then solving for v. So here we have 7.5. It's going to equal square root of 151.5 over 3 plus 151.5 over v. So that gives us 7.5. We can bring this term to the other side, so we're going to subtract. And it's equal to 7.106. And that is equal to 151.5 over v. So we can cross multiply here if we put these in brackets. Cross multiply. We get v equals 151.5 divided by that bracket which is equal to 385 meters per second. Our answer is E. e.